Food and physical activity are big players when it comes to glucose, but they aren't the only factors that can make an impact. Have you noticed during situations like a stressful commute, a tough conversation, or even intense exercise, you feel symptoms like a fast heart rate, rapid breathing, or muscle tension? This is your body's natural response to stress. We all have different coping strategies, so stress's effects on glucose may vary from person to person. And what about sleep? We've all felt how disturbed sleep or not getting enough can make us groggy and tired the next day but it can also make it harder for our bodies to regulate glucose levels. The good news is there are things we can do right now to combat the effects that stress and sleep habits have on glucose levels. Stello provides insights about changes in your glucose levels during these events. Balancing my home and work life can be tricky. My work is especially demanding with meetings and presentations throughout the week. Since using Stello, I've noticed my glucose rises during those times, and I can feel the added tension. So now, after presentations, I find a private space to sit for five minutes. I drop my shoulders, relax my toes, and take some deep belly breaths. I can feel myself relax, and my heart rate even slows down. If I have time, I'll take a short walk outside because I know physical activity helps lower my glucose. Even just going outside and breathing in some fresh air is a better way to manage stress than the snacks I used to eat. Next, I'm gonna try doing this before my meetings to see if I feel less stressed and if it changes my glucose. If I eat a late dinner, I've noticed when I'm going to sleep, my glucose is above the green rectangle and that it stays elevated throughout the night. So I've been trying to eat earlier and avoid late night snacking. I've already noticed my overnight and morning glucose improving. Eating earlier also allows me to move around a little before going to bed, which helps lower my glucose. Sometimes I even have time for a short walk between dinner and bedtime. And I have to say, I really am sleeping better, probably because I'm not going to bed with a full stomach. Take this next week to notice your stressors and the patterns that may be affecting your sleep quality. Then, identify some new strategies that might help. 